Howdy, folks. G Money, I'm going to take you on another uh, adventure through story time. This uh, took place, uh, I can tell you exactly when it was because I just researched it on the uh, internet. Uh, December 2nd, 1986, I do believe. The uh, When I was a dispatcher for the Delaware State Police, uh, there was a uh, annual event. Excuse me, I'm out here by the road, so you might see some people here. No, no, not see or hear people driving by. I apologize. School just started down here in Florida, which is crazy. That blows my mind. How do you get to go to school the second week of August? I mean, that's crazy. I never went to school until like September 6th. It's probably why I have this uh, mental aptitude that I have. But anyway, so let's get on to talking about what happened uh, what, did, what did I say? December 2nd, 1986? I do believe that's what it was. The uh, There was a uh, an annual event that would occur every year for all the uh, National Troopers Coalition. And every year a different state would sponsor the National Troopers Coalition picnic. <clears throat> it's a crazy event. Crazy event. I never uh, participated because I was only a civilian. I didn't have that honor of attending because I had screwed up red, green color deficiency. So, um, but I'm going to tell you some, <laughs> some of this, uh, there, there's a lot, matter of fact, there's a lot of stuff I can never tell you on camera on, you know, uh, on, on camera that could be, <laughs> but it, it's crazy, but it, it's, it's kind of funny if you just look back and, you know, but, uh, anyway, the, uh, I forget what time in the morning it was. I know it was, I'm pretty sure it was December 2nd, 1986. I know it was 1986. I'm pretty sure it was December 2nd. <clears throat> the, Delaware is kind of weird. It's a very small state. There's Newcastle County, there's Kent County, and then there is uh, Sussex County, which is big, like farmland, a lot of country, and uh, yeah, it's where you have most of the beaches and stuff like that. Kent County is where Dover, Delaware is. That's the capital of Delaware. So I think uh, I'd say easily probably 70% of the population of uh, Delaware lives in Newcastle County. <clears throat> That's kind of like the corporate capital of the world, Wilmington, Delaware is. So let's move on and let's let's tell you about what happened during, uh, th during this event. So we're, we're talking about the National Troopers Coalition picnic. And uh, Delaware had hosted it. I, I don't think we hosted it that often, but uh, I will tell you this without a doubt. There was a huge, huge uh, rivalry between the New Jersey State Police and the Delaware State Police and when it came to the uh, weightlifting competition at these picnics. But mind you, I, I kid you, I don't know the exact uh, amount, but the New Jersey State Police probably outmanned uh you know as far as bodies and you know probably like five or six to one i think at that time the delaware state police may have had around 500 troopers statewide <clears throat> and i think i think new jersey state police maybe had like three thousand or so don't quote me on those numbers but i'm going to tell you so um very very uh competitive event when this national hold on i got a little bug up here something on my there we go oh, i just moved it all oh, i did now it looks like hold on these kind of shenanigans kind of make for a good video sometimes i apologize it was like a little speck of something Maybe like dandruff or something got up there so uh the i forget who the colonel was at that time for uh dsp but i want to say don't I think the the colonel for New Jersey State Police at the time was uh, Colonel Pagano. Don't quote me on that. I'm trying to go by memory, and my memory's not the greatest. Uh, I think I'm inheriting some of my mother's problems. But uh, hold on, I'm getting a little. It's like 98 degrees out here, so I don't know what it is, but it feels like 98. So what? Uh, I, want to, I don't remember exactly. I want to say it was morning time, but uh, in Kent County, the, the main prison down there was called the Delaware Correctional Institute. 
It was in, uh, I forget where it was. I know, pretty sure it was Tate County. Ten or Sus I forget where it was. Delaware Correctional Institute. It probably doesn't matter. I, I'm pretty sure it was Southern, Kent County, around Dover area. Oh, you know what? No, I think that I think it was Smyrna. I think it was around Smyrna, which is like the north end of uh, Kent County. So uh, these four inmates escaped the same day of the National Troopers Coalition picnic. So there's two ways you can look at this uh, event. It's crazy. So uh, Delaware had a new trooper. Uh, I don't know how new he was at that time. I, I My memory totally escapes me. I want to say he was a rookie like six months or less. I don't remember exactly what. But he was, uh, he had played, def I'm pretty sure he was defense. I know he was on defensive line. I, I'm pretty sure he was defensive tackle at University of Maryland started for like three years on a four-year program. And he was chiseled. I mean, he was like like an Adonis. I and mean, he was like, I, I, I don't remember his exact height. I want to say he was like 6'5", but I know he was every bit of 275. And he like, not an ounce of fat on him. He was like, he was something like, you, you wouldn't believe, but strong as an ox, strong as an ox. And uh, so <laughs> these these uh, inmates escaped from the uh, Delaware Correctional Institute, and there was a lot of uh, fields. I know this was beginning of December, so I'm trying to remember. I don't, I, honestly, I don't remember if, if, I don't think in Delaware crops were growing too well. I don't remember. There was some type of fields all around this uh, institution. I've never been there, thank God. And uh, I can't remember if there were wheat fields, soybean fields or corn fields. I think something, I think it was, I want to say corn. I, I don't know. I honestly don't remember. <clears throat> but uh, next thing you know, there's like hundreds and hundreds of police all over just doing a perimeter search. They're walking through all these like crazy fields or any, but I'm pretty sure it was cornfield. I don't remember, but uh, people were, you know, they're all, you know, just doing like a very systematic, uh, what you call it is like a perimeter search. It's like a grid pattern and they do all their things. So uh, then it's getting, it's, they're out there for hours and hours and hours. And mind you, uh, this, this, Trooper, and normally I don't mention names, but just so if anybody wants to verify, you know, there was a guy named Carl Bond. He's the guy that uh, played at the University of Maryland. <clears throat> so, you know, he had responded with a bunch of other, you know, uniformed troopers, detectives, all this, you know, the helicopter, the whole nine. I think at that time, Delaware had three or four helicopters. I think pretty much there was one for every county. Don't quote me on that, but uh, so they get down there and everybody's doing this. You know, there's other agencies. I'm sure by now the FBI was involved. There was like a lot of craziness going on. So it was just a long drawn out day. Nobody, uh, it was just boring. I mean, it was kind of exciting, but boring. I don't mean exciting in the positive because these, these four dudes that escaped, uh, two or three of them were like real bad characters, like, like really bad characters. So, uh, anyway, so it gets late in the afternoon. I don't remember what time they were, they were going to do this weightlifting competition. And this, this was held at the Lums Pond State Park in Delaware, so, uh, which is in Newcastle County. So, uh, when I tell you some National Troopers Coalition, there's, you, you usually don't get representation from every state like California or, you know, like Oregon or, you know, it. it Usually it, it moves all around and you get more of like a nucleus of local states. So I, I don't remember what states were involved, but I do know uh, New Jersey State Police pretty much always dominated the heavyweight division of the uh, bench press competition, which is like, the, you know, the top, top bragging rights category. So <laughs> the colonel of DSP 
he, he knows what's coming up. He knows that like his his ringer, his ace in the hole is down in like some wheat field, soybean field, corn field, whatever it was. I don't remember. And uh, <laughs> he's he orders the helicopter to go down there and pick him up. So what he did was when he when that transpired, like he was one individual. So he sent like two other people. I, I'm pretty sure it's two other people to replace him just to you know make it equal, uh, better represent you know whatever. So they send the helicopter down, pick picks up Trooper Bond, and uh, then they uh, they they pick, I don't know if they landed in the field. I know they landed nearby. Basically, the trooper gets on board, and they they fly him to this picnic and Carl Bond was strong as an ox so this is where it gets better so he's in Delaware State Police had one of the classes they still do have one of the classiest uniforms on, on the in this you know United States it's just their uniform pattern is just like so spot on they had the campaign hats and everything and just really nice stuff so uh, they land the helicopter Carl Bond, they like they were in a rush because they didn't have any good representation for the heavyweight division. Carl Bond gets Carl Bond gets off the uh, helicopter and goes, I you know, like I wasn't there, so I, I just know the gist of the story, so I can't tell you if he was there for five minutes, ten minutes, but I do know he was still in full uniform. Takes off of he takes off his uh, his uh, shirt, you know, his uniform. And he has a white T-shirt underneath, which is all mandatory by regulations, uniform regulations. So he uh, sits down on the bench press, and he warms up with 450 pounds. So everybody was like, ooh, we're not on. Like, they're, like, freaking out, you know. So this is like, <laughs> he didn't even stretch nothing. He just sits down on the bench and warms up with 450. And I, I, I do not remember, but uh, I know <laughs> I know that. From what I hear, everybody was looking at the colonel of the New Jersey State Police, and uh, and he was not happy because he knew like they were in trouble. So I forget what I I know the the winning weight was uh, over five hundred pounds. I want to say five fifty. I forget what it was. I know it was something crazy, but uh, Carl Bond won the weightlifting event, and uh, he did all that you know and everything and like. And uh, so Delaware, a little tiny state of Delaware, won the uh, National Troopers Coalition Heavyweight Division. There was like, uh, I forget what they call it, middleweight division or something like that. And I think we did okay in the other sub subcategories. But uh, then they they tell him, you know, but, but I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on that, I'm pretty sure he had to put on his uniform. They flew him back and dropped him back in the field, and he went up to resume his day looking for four escaped inmates. So anyway, so that's a crazy story. Um, you know, you never know. I mean, it's like, man, it's like just so much craziness in the world. Like what can, could go right, what could go wrong. I know there's going to be a lot of people uh, thinking that, you know, should have been, that was the old days. A lot of stuff happened in the old days that you never know about. I mean, there's so many stories nobody's going to tell you about. I told you about this story because it's a true story. And, um, you know, they, those, those fellows were long gone. They were, they already had an exit plan. As a matter of fact, they were, uh, I, I know three of them uh, split off by themselves and there was one other individual and he went on to do some bad things, but uh, they already had an exit plan. They already, it was already choreographed with transportation and everything. But uh, I had always wanted to write a book uh, that, that was called 22 Days on the Run. And uh, my, my writing skills were way better back then. I just didn't have the motivation, the desire. I just felt like it was a huge task. I, I want to say that the, the one guy, he, he did do something bad while he was on the run. And I want to say it was somewhere in the South, like South Carolina. Don't quote me on that. And then the other three were finally found, I want to say, 22 days later. I think it was Arizona, like in a desert in Arizona, somewhere off the wall. But uh, anyway, that's a true story. You know, 
what I try to bring to you is true stories. You know, they're, you know, they're always real. No sugar coating, but uh, don't get too upset about it. It's already in the past. Many, you know, almost 40 years in the past. So uh, appreciate you listening. Another story time, another true adventure. I wasn't really a part of it. I had some what on the back end on the communication side, but y'all uh, take care. It's Friday night. Chill and enjoy life. Hey, always know your legal, legal limits. Legal, legal limits.